Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie is Blind Spotting. Never heard of it before. I don't know how I found it, but IMDb has it at a 7.6. While on probation, a man begins to reevaluate his relationship with his volatile best friend. 7.6, enough to get me to watch it. So we'll see. I didn't recognize anybody's name. So maybe I'll recognize their faces and I'll let you know. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody. Uh, we're at the credits of Blind Spotting. There is uh, no check-ins on this one. Uh, stay true to what they were kind of saying. I, actually, it really didn't. So let me kind of give you a recap of basically what you're going to be watching if you check it out. Um, they show, you know, a guy, I don't even forget his name, getting out of prison. So he's going on to parole, as we know. Um, and it's his uh, fir first three days, or his last three days. So they jump ahead. So his name was Colin, sorry. Um, his they jump ahead to like 11 months and three days left on his pro he is he's on probation or parole for for three more days at the start of this movie um he had been in prison um for two years for uh, something that he had done which did it takes a while for you to figure that out the best part of the movie is when they tell that story um the beginning most of the beginning of this movie was set up as a comedy, I thought. I was like, okay, there's some funny moments right in the beginning. Um, so again, this guy's uh, three days away from coming off of parole, and um, and he's in a car where the guy's selling guns, and he's like, I gotta get out, I gotta get out, and it was kind of funny. Like, I thought that was funny. So and, and it sets up that way. There's a lot more parts like that. Not so much laugh out loud, but smile, comical kind of thing. Um, and then, and then the scene where they explain why he went to prison, but of course he's not liking the story, but the guy telling the story was my favorite part of this whole movie, so if you check it out, make sure you watch for that part. Um, anyway, so he's, uh, it's, it's the day, three days in the life of Colin, who's getting out, um, and his, his friend, uh, Miles, is the other guy. He was involved when um, he got arrested, um, but he wasn't charged, and he set off free, and he's kind of a hothead, kind of a you know, it doesn't start off this way as seeing he's a family man. He's got a, a girlfriend and a kid and stuff like that. And But he still kind of leans towards trouble when Colin is trying to stay out of trouble. Colin also has a, a girlfriend, or an ex-girlfriend it seems like, because of what has happened. They broke up, um, but they're still in each other's lives in a sense. Um, so there's all that aspects going on. And then they touch on a lot of heavy topics. So as I said, it starts out as a comedy, I think. Um, you know, and then it gets into some heavy stuff. So a white cop shooting a black man who didn't seem to be armed, but, you know, we don't know. Check that piece out. Uh, a, a kid, uh, I don't know, five, six-year-old kid with a loaded gun. You know, finding the loaded gun. Another heavy topic, you know, with gun control and stuff like that. So all that, you know, and it's all in Oakland or West Oakland um, and everything that goes on in there. So he's got to survive these three days and, and stay clean and everything that he's going through in order to stay clean, you know, so that nothing happens. And he wants to turn his life around. And that's really what it's about. But it, um, and Miles is, is, he's a white, he's his white friend, very lyrical, uh, a very lyrical movie, I would say. So he's got like... I don't know, he could talk real fast. He's a real fast, smooth talker kind of guy. Uh, meanwhile, Colin is also into rapping and, and freestyling his own rap. So that plays a little bit of a part you know, throughout, you know, just as we're getting to know the characters. But then really at the end it comes into play. And that's the one thing. It, it went from a comedy and kind of fun to watch with some serious tones to it to over-the-top serious at the end. You know, the... The conclusion or the you know the final dramatic scene is like real heavy i think now for me there's rapping involved in this scene and you know while i understand it, it interesting and i don't know i don't know how much i like that maybe a lot of people will i liked the rap but in that moment you know it was more poetry i guess and you have to see it to see how it ties in um, and, and everything that goes on with it. But I thought, eh, you know, for me, I didn't 
I, I, I would have liked to have him speak normally. It was hard for me to follow, whatever. That was the only area of opportunity for me besides the, not knowing if this is a comedy or a, a drama, a little bit of both, but I mean, it's heavy enough to take away all the comedy that went on. So, very interesting movie. I think it showed, I don't know. I didn't grow up in Oakland, never really lived in Oakland. I don't know what life was like there, but it, I think that's what they're trying to portray. The day in a life in Oakland, or three days in a life in Oakland, and what a black man has to go through, um, you know, with the cops and, and, and everything. So, you know, the surroundings, I'll say. So, I think it's a very good movie. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, no check-ins on this one, just went right to the credits, because I think that's all you need. I think I give you everything. I think it's definitely worth watching. That is absolutely for sure. Um, I don't think a score is warranted because you don't need to know a score because you got to watch the movie and see what you see. And uh, let me know. Love to hear your comments. Thanks for tuning in. Give us a pop.